Welcome to the Disney Reporter. I am your Disney Reporter, Mr. Daps. Let's get right to this week's Disney and Geek headlines. We start things off at the Walt Disney World Resort where things have been changing rapidly this week. First, we found out that there'd be modified capacity, which happened very quickly. And then we found out that masks were no longer gonna be required outdoors, which is effective now. We've got all the details about these changes up on dapsmagic.com. Stop by, check them out, let us know what you think about these changes to the phased reopening policies and guidelines for the Walt Disney World Resort. Along with things changing for the guidelines at the Walt Disney World Resort, another thing that's made things seem a little bit more normal is the return of a celebration of a festival of the Lion King. That officially opened today at Disney's Animal Kingdom. There have been soft openings throughout the week. We've got details about this up on dapsmagic.com and we will soon have a full video as well on our YouTube channel. Make sure to stop by and check all of those out and let us know what you think about the return of a celebration of Festival of the Lion King. Other news that came out this week from a Disney earnings call Disney CEO Bob Chapek gave a little bit of a glimpse at what the future for the former Disneyland annual pass holder program looks like. And really, it sounds like it's going to be more of a loyalty program. We've got more details about that up on dapsmagic.com. I will tell you, details are scant. Let us know what you think about the future of what is currently the legacy pass holder program. Do you think they're doing a good job? Do you think they could do better? What would you like to see? Let us know in the comments below. Heading on over to the Disney Cruise Line, the Disney Wish has more details being released almost on a daily basis. Some of those are prices. It's gonna be expensive, but maybe not as expensive as you thought it would be. It seems that the prices are in line with other Disney Cruise Line ships. We also learned this week that there's gonna be a new, really awesome suite that's gonna be in the forward funnel of the Disney Wish. We've got all these details up on dapsmagic.com. Stop by and check them out. And let us know what you think about the newest addition to the Disney Cruise Line that will be joining the fleet in 2022. And finally, Star Wars Celebration has gotten a new date. Originally, it was supposed to be in August of 2022, and now it's at the end of May. We've got all of the details up on dapsmagic.com, along with videos from previous Star Wars celebrations. Check it out, and then let us know if you are going to be at that next Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim, California. We sure will be. And those are the top Disney and geek headlines we have for you this week. We hope you're having an absolutely fantastic week. You're getting vaccinated, washing those hands, staying safe, following all of those guidelines as they apply so that we can get through this together. We also hope you'll take a moment, let us know what you think the top story of the week was in the comments below. And while you're at it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a lot of videos that are continuing to be posted from the reopening of the Disneyland Resort and also from Murray, who is currently at Walt Disney World at this moment. You won't want to miss any of the stuff that he is going to be posting in the coming days and weeks. We hope then you'll take a moment to hop on over to dapsmagic.com and subscribe to our newsletter so you don't miss any of the daily Disney or geek updates as they happen. And then we hope that you also will have an absolutely fantastic weekend and know that we look forward to seeing you in the parks.